Hello again, everyone. This is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with NautilusDrydocks.com, and I got a new product that I want to run through with you. I'm kind of excited about it because it pertains to a bit of a pain point that we have in the RC submarine hobby, and that is proper 75 megahertz radios. As some of you may know, options are kind of limited. 75 megahertz is an older frequency band, uh, and it's not produced anymore, but fortunately, I do have a stock of uh, quite a few of these really cool Vex Robotics six channel computerized radios. Now, one of the drawbacks to these particular units is that uh, they do have four fully proportional channels on the front and then they've got some analog channels uh, on the back, but they're non-latching three-way. So basically, uh, you push up, the servo moves uh, to 100, plus 100, release it moves to neutral and if you push down it moves to negative 100 percent and that's all fine but uh, for many applications like for example periscopes or torpedo doors you want to have a latching position and those switches on the back are a perfect solution for controlling them uh, up to now you kind of had to tough through it or utilize other radios but now uh, in conjunction with kevin mcleod of kmc designs we have come out with something called the Step Servo Controller. I'm gonna show you what this looks like, how you use it, and the power of the product. So let's get started. All right, I'm gonna walk you through just a, a brief overview of how you set the unit up. And it's really simple. There's three stages to the process. Uh, you need to make sure you know where the set button is and where that LED indicator is all you're going to do is power on your transmitter press and hold the set button and then plug in receiver power you can see the light turn green turn off and now we're in setup mode we're in the first stage of the setup mode in this first stage this is where you set the number of steps and this is any number between two and five as it comes right now, you can see it's two. It'll move as a two-way switch, so either plus 100% or minus 100%. I'm gonna want, uh, let's say three, for example. So what we're gonna do in that particular case, I'm gonna use the buttons on the back of my transmitter that correspond to the channel that the unit is plugged into, and I'm gonna press and hold that until it switches to three um, flashes. There we go. One, two, three. Press and hold. Now we're in the second stage. This is where it is going to be determined where the servo starts when you first plug it in. And that could be any step number from one through the maximum number that you set up. So in my particular case, I could choose one, two, or three. As it sounds right now, it's set for one. It's flashing once. I want it for two, so I'm gonna press and hold that button until we get two flashes. One, two, perfect, that's what I want. Press and hold. Now we're on step three, and this is where it moves to in the event of a signal loss. So again, very important if you're going to be connecting this to uh, like a torpedo or a ballast system. So as it sets right now, Moving to position four, I want to move this to position two. One, two. Press and hold. Servo moved into position. So I'm just gonna zoom in here a little bit so you can see how this works in practical application. Let me zoom out, out a little bit here actually. Okay, so you can see channel six is what I've got this connected to, and here is the servo. So uh, we're in the middle position right now. If I push down, it goes to minus 100%. If I keep pressing, it doesn't do anything. If I go up, it's gonna move back to the neutral position and stop. So it's at zero, pushing again, plus 100%. Again, nothing. 
So as you can see, it's a really cool little unit. It has a lot of flexibility. It's got a lot of power to it. I think it's gonna be kind of a game changer for these VEX radio systems. It'll add a lot of opportunity to put new features uh, into a boat that were typically a little bit out of reach because of the limitations of the radio system. So these are available right now on NautilusDrydocks.com. Uh, they are called the Step Servo Controller, the SSC unit. Instructions are available for download off of the electronics section of my website. Uh, big thanks to Kevin McLeod of KMC Designs for whipping out this awesome little unit for us in the RC Submarine community. My name is Bob Martin, the RC Sub Guy with the NautilusDrydocks.com. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks everyone. Catch you next time.